Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you any troubleshooting tips I can provide you guys with any RGB lighting effects, uh, any issues you guys might be having. Um, could be a lot of shipping issues, really things becoming loose. Um, there's a lot of connectors in the back that are just friction held in, they don't actually clip in. So they could be coming loose and they're in a spot in the back panel, uh, not the glass side, but the back panel where you got to open up and actually move some wires out of the way to actually see it and see if you guys actually have an issue. And uh, I'm gonna be breaking down the back panel, I'm gonna be showing you where everything is in this video so you guys will know if everything's connected correctly and that um, it's just not a loose connection causing you uh, any issues. Um, I'm also gonna be going through the RGB Fusion 2.0 software for the Gigabyte motherboards. Uh, most of you guys should have a Gigabyte motherboard with your uh, iBuy power. Uh, mine is the BB991 model. Um, it's with the i5 10th gen processor and the 1650 Super. Um, so this should cover everything you guys need. Um, it's going to be covering the plug-in for the motherboard, the plug-in in the back where all your fans come together in a central location. It's a little control module back there for the RGB. And uh, I'll be going through the software too because some of you guys might not even have this installed because I know some places were having issues uh, having it installed because they weren't actually able to test them or... Um, Maybe the, the fans that they used didn't have RGB effects, you know, anything, any excuse they had not to have the software pre-installed for you guys. So I'll be showing you where to find that in this video as well. So stay tuned for the breakdown and I will see you guys then.
All right, guys, we got everything hooked back up. Here we are at the desktop. So right below me, right, you should see the actual computer. I got a camera facing the computer. And then on this side, you'll see my monitor one. This is my first monitor. And that's where I'm going to be showing you where you guys got to go and everything you got to do to change your RGB lighting, any settings you want to do. So right here, I pulled it out to the center. It's going to be RGB fusion. For your um, iBay Power Gigabyte type motherboards. Um, so you're just going to want to open this up. And it's going to give you this prompt. Just hit yes. So it says please wait. It's syncing. So right now what you're seeing. I have it on color cycle. And this will actually change color. On this side on the desktop. It's going to display what's actually happening. In the PC down below. And if you look. They're both there. And they're, they're synced up pretty well. So this is going to show you everything. Now I know some people might have an issue where, you know, they checked and all their connections are on. And everything everything looks fine on the PC. Um, when you open this up, maybe it's set to off by default for some reason. Mine was on cycle on default. But this could explain one of your issues. So you set to off. And on your monitor, it's going to show just a light gray motherboard, basically. And then down below on the PC, you don't got no lights. I have some lights because I have some RGB RAM sticks in there, but my fans are off. So in here, your first one's going to be static. This is where you can just pick a color, whatever color you want. Um, you can pick white, you know, red, blue, green, whatever. Um, and then you can choose, you can actually make your own color too with the number codes. And then uh, you can change your brightness levels. So change it all the way down. Makes it real dim. It doesn't really show it too dim on the, uh... yeah. So I mean, it increases and decreases. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, pulse. This is. It's just gonna kind of like flash real fast, and then come back out, and go back out, and it's just in and out, nice and slow. But you can change the speeds. You can like make it, you know, seizurey almost. And you can do this with any color you want. This is the one I was talking about, the flashing, you know, like strobe light effect. And you get the double flash, and it's just the same thing. You just get two bursts, any color you want to do. Um, you just speed and brightness on all these as well. Now the color cycle, that's what I have it on. And I like keeping it all the way down, brightness all the way up, and just have it nicely, slowly change colors. Um... It does look really nice. You don't really see too much. I know like a lot of things that you have a slow color cycle. You can kind of see like the light slowly change in brightness and trying to make the color. Um, these are actually really smooth. Um, you don't really see too much of a difference down there on like the different colors coming in and brightness level changing at all. Uh, for music, obviously I'm not going to play music on this, but um, it just kind of pulsates whatever music and it tries to read I mean it does okay I messed around with it a little bit um, random right here it's just gonna do a bunch of different things um, every time you start it up it should be something different um, it actually should change a little bit as time goes on too and then game I don't know I haven't messed with it so I'll leave that up to you guys to explore and figure out what that one is but for the rest of these, that's how you set up your RGB. Um, there's not much of a setting for this. You just kind of go through, pick your things, but there's not like a lot of customization on this. You click on settings here. It's for the app on your guys' phone. So we'll close out of that. And that's going to be your RGB Fusion uh, software that should come pre-installed. Now, if it's not pre-installed, you can have Google. I'm going to click on this here and just type in Fusion RGB 2.0 and it'll be right here. This is gigabyte.com. You can go here and this will be the download link up here for it. Um, it gives you an overview and it also gives you a little video tutorial as well on how to use it. Now there was one thing I forgot to show you. On there and it's basically the second page here and I'll show you real quick on that so we'll open this back up 
All right, so we have it synced. So you can click on all these. You can change every individual one. This is where your, you know, light strips, LEDs, you know, anything that's going to plug into on your board, you can change them individually. Now this is the screen that we showed you at, and they are synced up. So yes, they are working. We're on static. I'll go back to this. But if you click on this, this brings you to this next one. It'll show you your, your compatible devices. So um, right now, even though I do have RGB RAM, it's not compatible for this to be controlled. At least it doesn't recognize it at all. You could also set up different profiles. So you can set up a profile to have it, you know, one way for like maybe a different game or just kind of mood you're in. And you can set up another profile maybe for like listening to music or, you know, however way you want to do it. You can have, have this set up a lot of different ways. So we'll get out of there. And I think that concludes everything, guys. Um for the RGB side of this. Um I mean, if you guys are still having issues with this, I would definitely contact uh, your technical support and uh get in touch with them and tell them, hey, I checked everything from the uh control module in the back where everything plugs in, all the way to where it plugs into the board, everything's fine. Um, I mean, you could have maybe a faulty lights in your fans. You could have a faulty control module. Um, and then they should actually get you, you know, squared away, maybe send you a new part. Or uh, we'll, we'll see how that is. They might even request you to send in your PC. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't had a mess with them at all. But um, but that's, that's basically it. Now, I know sometimes um, when they build them that you won't get your uh, RGB Fusion in pre-installed. So that's why I went through through there on the Gigabyte website, and you can install it there, and you should be able to run the setup for it and uh, get everything working from there. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just leave a comment. And uh, I just want to thank you all for the support from the last video. It really means a lot. And uh, I appreciate all of the questions and stuff you guys ask, and I'm glad I can make uh, content that you guys find helpful and useful to you guys. And... Uh, but yeah, um, any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching.